Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are going to look at the Solution Architect Associate and whether it's a, a good fit for us to uh, take the certification. So uh, the first thing I want you to know is that this kind of role is for finding creative solutions by leveraging cloud services instead of reinventing the wheel. It's all about big picture thinking. So you're going to need broad knowledge across multiple domains. It's great for those who get bored really easily. Uh, and so you're going to have to wear multiple hats. And it's really less about how are we going to implement this and more about what are we going to implement, okay? So you would come up with an architecture using multiple different uh, cloud services, and then you would pass that on to your cloud engineers to actually go implement. It's not uncommon uh, for a solution architect to be utilized within the business development team. So it's not quite unusual to uh, see solution architects being very charismatic speakers and extroverts because uh, they're going to have to uh, talk to other companies to uh, collaborate with. All right. And just to really give you a good idea of what a solution architect does, uh, they're going to be creating a lot of architectural diagrams. So here I just pulled a bunch from the internet and you can see kind of the complexity and how they uh, tie into different services. You're going to require a lot of constant learning because AWS is constantly adding new services and trying to figure out how they all fit together is a common thing. And uh, advice that I, I get from uh, some senior solution architects at large companies is you're always thinking about pricing and you're always thinking about can you secure whatever that is, okay? But AWS is going to have uh, their own definition there, which is all about the five pillars, uh, which comes into the well-architected framework. Uh, but, you know, we'll learn that as we go along here. Okay, so let's talk about what value do we get out of the Solution Architect Associate. Well, it is the most popular AWS certification out of every single one. It's highly in demand with startups because you can help wherever help is needed. Startups uh, from small to medium size just need people to fill any possible role. And because you're gonna have broad knowledge, you're gonna be considered very, very valuable. It is recognized as the most important certification at the associate level. Uh, and uh, it's going to really help you stand out on resumes. I would not say the associate is going to um, help you increase your salary uh, too much, but you're definitely going to see a lot more job opportunities. Uh, to see those uh, increase in salaries, you're going to have to get those pros and uh, specialty certifications. Okay, so if you're still not sure whether you should take the Solution Architect Associate, uh, let me just give you a little bit more information. So it is the most in-demand certification. Uh, so it has the uh, most uh, utility out of any other certification because of that broad knowledge. It's not too easy, but it's not too hard. So it's not too easy in the sense that, uh, you know, the information you're learning is superficial. It's actually going to be uh, very useful on the job, uh, but it's also not that hard. So you're not going to risk uh, failing the exam because you don't don't know the nitty gritties of all the services, okay? It requires the least amount of technical knowledge. Uh, so if you're really more of a, uh, a uh, academic or, or theory-based uh, uh, learner, instead of having that hands-on experience, you're gonna excel here taking the Solution Architect Associate. And again, when in doubt, uh, just take this certification because it gives you the most flexible uh, future learning path. So um, I always say that if you aren't sure what specialty you wanna take, take the Solution Architect Associate so you get to familiarize yourself with all the different kinds of roles uh, that you can encounter. So if you're definitely thinking about doing big data, security, machine learning, I would absolutely think to take the Solution Architect Associate first. Of course, you can always do the Solution Architect Professional uh, if you want to keep on going down this specific path. And if you are new to uh, AWS and cloud computing in general, then I strongly recommend that you take the CCP uh, before taking uh, the Solution Architect Associate because it's a lot easier and it's going to give you um, more foundational knowledge so that you're going to have uh, a really easy time with this exam. And it's specific specifically um, is the direct upgrade path. So all that stuff you learn in the CCP is directly applicable to the Solution Architect Associate. So how much time are we going to have to invest in order to pass the Solution Architect Associate? And this is going to depend on your uh, past experience. And so I've broken down uh, three particular archetypes to give you an idea of time investment. So if you are already a cloud engineer, you're already working with AWS, you're looking at 20 hours of study, you could pass this in a week. Okay, but that's if you're using AWS uh, on a day to day basis. If you are a bootcamp grad, it's going to take you one to two months. So we're looking between 80 to 160 hours of study. 
Uh, if you have never used AWS or heard of it, then you probably should go take the Certified Cloud Practitioner first. It's going to make things a lot easier, which has a lot more foundational information. Uh, you might start this here and be overwhelmed because you feel that you're missing information. So you will probably want to go there first. If you are a developer and you've been working in the industry for uh, quite a few years, but maybe uh, you've just never used AWS, then uh, you're looking at one month of study. So that's about 80 hours of study. Okay, uh, and so that will give you an idea how much time you need to commit. Okay, and so let's just touch on the exam itself here. Uh, so the exam itself is going to cost $150 uh, for you to take, and that's in USD. You have to take it at a uh, test center that is partnered with AWS. Um, so you will have to go through the portal there and book it, and then you will be going down to that test center to write it. Uh, the exam uh, gives you 130 minutes to uh, complete it. There's 65 questions on the exam. The passing score is around 72%. Uh, and once you have the certification, it's going to be valid for three years. All right, so hopefully uh, that gives you a bit of perspective and whether the Solution Architect Associate is right for you.